Hello again there. Um, many of the topics covered today uh, are regarding sport and many are focused on my club which is Manchester United. A very very short video. The first video that I'm going to be praising somebody, something at, uh, at my club. Uh, by the way, just a quick um, apology, not apology, explanation. Um, it's still Tuesday the 1st, these videos will be out Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday this week. Uh, sorry, Tuesday the 4th, I do apologise. Um, if you've seen any of these videos, if you're unfortunate enough to have seen them all, I've seen a few of them, you will find it's the same attire in every single one. It's just that they've done the same day. I'm hoping to record a couple tomorrow and a couple more on Thursday. I will change clothes, I promise you that. Anyway, just about one player uh, that I'd like to bring up. Uh, I've got a player that for me would be a uh, player of the season. Uh, and he'd win it by a country mile. Um, he's not going to be player of the season. Um, I don't think he'll even beat somebody at his own club. Um, but he should do. Because uh, what he's done this season for me is absolutely phenomenal. Um, I don't watch as much football as many do. I watch virtually everything that Man United play. Um, I'll watch the really big European games, the finals. And if uh, United aren't involved in a game, and say you've got a top of the table clash between maybe um, City and Arsenal, one time it might have been City and Liverpool, <laughs> not anymore. Um, or games like that, I'll watch those. But I tend to only watch my team, and I tend not to watch the European games where a United or a big English team aren't involved. I probably should do, but I don't. I did not realise how good Casemiro was. I really didn't. Oh my God, he's been absolutely sensational for us. Absolutely sensational. We're just a totally different team with him in there. You know, he helps the, the back four tremendously. He helps everything and everything stems from him. Um, our back four still needs a fair bit of work from goalkeeper down to full backs. Very happy with central defenders, Martinez and Varane, fantastic. Um, Lindelof, not a bad backup when needed, but ideally as a sub. Maguire, not a bad backup when needed, but I don't think he can, I'm not sure he can play at United unless he's got, uh, with two of the centre backs. I think his pace is letting him down drastically. I think he may get away with it with better full backs and a goalkeeper that's better with the, the ball on the floor. Um, but there's too many issues at the back for United at the moment still that need addressing. Um, but he does play better with Casemiro in front of him. Anybody would. He's been a revelation. For me, Casemiro has been very, very similar to Van Dijk when he first came to Liverpool. Van Dijk just almost single-handedly made them a better team. He's suffering now from his lack of form for me uh, at Liverpool there because I don't think he's the player he was before his injury. Casemiro did the same like Man United. Yeah, he's getting on a bit. When they signed him, I thought, oh, that's another crazy signing, giving crazy, crazy money. It was obvious we needed a world-class um, holding midfielder who can do more than just hold. Um, but I thought at his age, he, he, he couldn't be the one. And I know he's, he's known for, for not having searing pace. He's got a little lack of pace. The thing is, he's, he's very much uh, like Harry Kane for me. Kane lacks pace, but he's got up here. He's got to with the Yaz on anybody to start with up here. You know, they could sign Kane next year, and I think they probably will. United, that is, and hope they probably do. Uh, my only worry with Kane would be that he, he misses the odd game with the, that bad ankle. He has ankle issues. But he still bags in 30 goals a year and he plays in most games Kane will be 30 next year is he 30, 31 but you do lose pace as you get older but when you've not got a lot of pace to start with you lose virtually nothing Kane as I say has got it up here so he's got he could get 5 years at United doing 30, 35 goals a year absolutely no problem Casemiro's the same at United now they can get 4 or 5 more years out of him absolutely no problem and he's just brilliant I think had he not been sent off those two times, and I'm not sure the standing offs were right probably either time, and that's not me being biased, but this slow motion's got a lot to a lot to answer to. You know, every video referee and every VR 
should be played full speed and slow speed but definitely a, a, a big a big part of it must be at normal speed they've got to look at that even more than slow speed because that really tells you what's happening there in real time this slow motion can look horrendous when it's not um, but I mean he missed four or five games at the start of the season never bleated never moaned never did any of that no throwing his arms in the air like Ronaldo was doing you know when Ronaldo was missing games and that again just going back to the Piers Morgan thing I mentioned earlier with Ronaldo I mean he missed five or six games um, I remember turning into Sky one day at the end of a match and they said to Ten Hag well why are you not picking Casemiro you know you've spent 80 million pounds on him he's not getting in yet you've got Anthony in there who you've also spent 80 million pounds on he said well Anthony knows the way I play I've worked with Anthony I know all about Anthony he knows what I expect he knows what I want he can fit into my team ethos Casemiro doesn't know me yet doesn't know what I do doesn't know how I do things doesn't know 100% what's expected of him but he will do he's learning it all in training he's picking it all up and when he gets in I think he'll take some shift in and lo and behold that's how it worked when he's fit he plays he plays every single time he's been brilliant since the first day he came in he's not moaned or whined that he's been sat on a bench and not played I mean many players signed for 80 million would not expect to sit on a bench for five games he never complained he just took it in and he seems to love United he loves all the, about the history of the club he's coping with the weather let's face it I mean he's not only has he come from Spain but he's originally from Brazil this isn't Brazilian weather we have in Manchester that's a, that's a fact but he's done brilliant and he's a credit I mean when you consider he's missed the first five games then I think he's going to miss seven with suspensions I think he'll play in the last 9, 10, 11 games and I think he'll be brilliant again I think we'll be a better team with him in it for me he'll be player of the year he won't get it I don't think because of games he's missed but brilliant Casemiro thank you very much I love you and anybody that, anybody that doesn't either was like me and hasn't watched you much in the past or unlike me I say unlike me um, doesn't know football because Casemiro you are fantastic thank you very much for everything you do for us and let's have a good few more seasons out to you sir